Hi, in this video I'm going to go over a couple more things in ionic bonding. Um, I'm going to deal with multivalent bonds and polyatomic bonding and naming. So this is the first example I have iron 2 chloride. This is an example of multivalent. So the multivalent refers to that number right there. Multi means many. I guess we could say that this has many kinds of valence shells, so it can have different ion charges. This number here, that's the Roman numeral, it tells you actually the uh, ion charge of the iron. So um, Roman numeral 2 is 2 positive, that'd be 1 positive, 3 positive, 4 positive, and there may even be a 5 positive, I'm not too sure. Um, and these things always relate to the metal ions or the first of the when you're forming a compound it's always the first compound the metal ion okay so iron 2 chloride iron 2 then so we're dealing with iron with the 2 plus and chlorine has a negative ion charge so now when we think about how to balance those if I want the same amount of um, charge for both positive and negatives, um, if I had two negatives, that would balance the two positives. So I need my one iron, and, but I need two chlorines. So that's um, iron to chloride. Now if we look at this compound, um, chromium has two options for iron charges. There's a CR2 plus or CR3+. plus. So this is another case of multivalent uh, naming. Um, sulfur has a charge of 2 negative. So the total negatives is, there's 3 of those, so there's there's 3 sulfur, so you have 3 times negative 2, so that's negative 6. If we look at this one, I can see that I have 2 times something e should equal positive 6 then because I have to balance the positives and the negatives so the answer to this guy would be 3 plus so that means I'm dealing with the CR3 plus so the name of this compound would be chromium Roman numeral 3 sulfide That's naming with um, multivalent metals. The other um, thing I wanted to go over was polyatomic naming. Polyatomic is when we deal with um, when one of the ions is one of these polyatomic ions. So you always need this chart to, to find out your charges and formulas for the different polyatomic ions. And hopefully you can get pretty familiar with the names. And that can just be more familiar with these things makes it easier. Um, brillium. So this is beryllium, and then I have to find this polyatomic ion, so HSO3, that's this guy right here, hydrogen sulfite. So this would be beryllium, I don't know if I can spell that right, beryllium hydrogen sulfite. So it, th that part's not too hard just have to get familiar with these, uh, finding these names and then writing out the formulas. Um, there I also have another one where I'm told iron 3 chromate, dichromate. So this iron's a multivalent, but I'm told what uh, valence I'm dealing with. So this is an iron 3 plus in dichromate. So I have to go through here and find dichromate. There's dichromate. So it's CR2, O7, 2 negative. So this whole thing is the two negative that's it sticks together. Um, to balance these, um, from practice, I know that I'm going to need it to be six positive and six negative. That's the lowest common multiple. So two times three positive equals six positive, and then three times two negative equals six negative. So I'm going to need three of the dichromates.
and two of the um, iron three plus. So that gives me so I need three of the or sorry two of the irons and then three of these CR two move seven. I use the brackets because we make sure that the three relates to the whole thing. And that's naming um, polyatomic iron.